Hey, switching gears, let's uh, check in with First Alert Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagan. You an opera guy? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, mean, I was like, hmm, that went not, off like well, a lead balloon. Might, you know, you never know. Uh, you I know like what? classical music. I like yes. going to the symphony. Okay. I like the instrumentals. I don't necessarily like lyrics along with it. I, mm. I, understand. I, I understand. I understand. Personal preference. You like opera? Yeah. Go for it. I, I not, love no, the No opera. judgment. I was yeah. just curious. You want to listen to that as you're ballet. jogging down the Embarcadero? <laughs> go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, whatever gets you going. Exactly. The weather's <laughs> perfect for it. Let's bring it back to yeah. the forecast here as we head into the next few days. We're going to keep the warm weather around for most of the Bay Area. A nice look down towards the Golden Gate as we're looking out from Sutro Tower, looking in that direction, not seeing any fog sneaking through the Golden Gate just yet. It's going to be pretty confined as we head through the rest of tonight. Let's take a look at the weather headlines as we head through tonight into early tomorrow morning, and the maps appear to be stuck. Let's see if we can get anything to move at all. Okay, just very slowly Homer Simpson out of the picture into the bushes and we'll see if we can get things kicked and get the maps to advance forward. Everything just gets stuck once in a while. That's how you know it's live TV. I keep saying that every time we have a little technical problem, but yeah, no problems here. Let's get it to go. Go. There we go. That's hope this better be worth waiting for. Most of the clear skies tonight, just a few patches of fog by early tomorrow morning. We will see that giving way to a mix of a lot of sunshine, but filtered sunshine like, like we've seen for the past couple of days. And temperatures are going to warm up once again as we head into the afternoon hours. Another day of substantially above average temperatures for tomorrow. And then while it's going to be a dry weekend, we're not going to see temperatures being quite as warm Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but still several degrees above average. The more substantial changes are going to hold off until about the middle of next week. That's when the next rain chance is going to head our way. Right now, switching perspectives, looking to the east from the Mark Hopkins Hotel, you can see that high cloud cover in the distance that really didn't slow down the warm up at all. It's still 80 degrees in San Jose, upper 70s in Livermore and Santa Rosa, mid 70s in Concord, upper 60s right now in both Oakland and in San Francisco, unseasonably warm temperatures across the board for this time of year. Let's check out Futurecast and see how it handles the fog or lack thereof as we head into early tomorrow morning, seeing a little bit developing offshore, maybe out towards Point Reyes, but we're going to be seeing mostly clear skies overhead to begin the day and then some high cloud cover drifting back in, filtering that sunshine as we head towards midday on Thursday. Temperatures tonight dropping down mostly to the low 50s, just the very coolest spots dropping down into the upper 40s, and then temperatures are going to warm up to several degrees above average by tomorrow afternoon, back into the low 80s in San Jose, 83 degrees in San Jose, be the warm spot across the region, upper 70s for Morgan Hill right around 80 degrees inland in the East Bay and also 80 degrees for Fremont and down the peninsula in Redwood City. Now along the coast, you've been cooler for the past several days. You warmed up a bit more today. You should make it back up into the mid 60s for Half Moon Bay, close to 70, but just short in San Francisco with highs reaching the mid 70s in Oakland and the mid to upper 70s to around 80 degrees for the North Bay. Maybe not quite as warm as other inland parts of the Bay Area, but still really nice mid April weather. The 10 day temperature outlook for San Jose shows the warm but not as warm conditions sticking around as we finish the work week and head into the weekend and then a more substantial drop Tuesday continuing through the rest of that last full week of April below average temperatures actually settling in for a few days and that accompanies the next chance of rain. These are the day by day rain chances for next week and you can see that they're not going to be off the charts, but there is a little surge there for that rain chance by next Wednesday into Thursday. It's still seven and eight days away, so way down the line, but something that we'll be able to focus more on as we get a little bit closer to next week. Let's just enjoy the warm weather while it's here. The warmest day will be tomorrow. Tomorrow, still around or above 80 degrees for most inland parts of the Bay Area and still very pleasant as we head through the weekend. More substantial cloud cover is going to start to move in by Tuesday and Wednesday of next weekend for the first time in a little while. We do have some shower chances in the seven day forecast, but just for the very last day of the seven day forecast. And we're not even saying showers are likely just a chance of showers for next Wednesday. So we got a long way to go between now and then enjoy a relative rarity for 2024 a dry weekend and temperature should be above average for most of the Bay Area this weekend, except right along the coast. But even there it should be in the low 60s. All right. Not much to complain about. Thank you, Paul.